at ten past seven and I was just pulling around to come into my drive and I get the call to say that he'd taken his last breath at 7.22 so I, I missed him just, you know, but maybe it was, maybe he didn't want me to be there for his last breath so he probably left without me there, which it is probably a good thing. But, all our hearts are breaking, but um, the outpour of love um, has been fabulous. And these two girls, Lola and Eva, have been just the love of his life. And that's why he kept going, I think. But he realised that he couldn't, he just couldn't do it anymore. But it was fabulous that he had such a fabulous attitude and he gave us so much joy right up to the end. Um, but there you go. I'm sorry that I'm not very good at this, but I, um, I feel at the moment that, you know, we're all wondering how life's going to go and whether we're going to get through it or not, but we will because everybody does. And as the five-year-old just said, then death is part of life and it's true. And for a five-year-old to say it, I have to take notice. Mm -hmm. But thank you anyway. Thank you for everything. How would you like for, to be remembered? Obviously we are hearing the tributes, as you say, they are enormous, but how would you like him to be remembered? I would like him to be remembered as the legend that he was. I mean, he has lots of loves. His love was, he loved the Morris brothers, that's where he went to school. And then he loved radio. And then he got into television and had two fabulous partners in Graham and Don. And um, that was great. Logies was great. And then when television was drying up a bit, um, he found that it was theatre that he loved. So, um, and he was good at them all. So, I think if he's looking down on us today, he would be just so thrilled to hear the Prime Minister and all the people that, you know, he admires so much um, making these lovely statements and and he's he's got a lot of friends in show business. He's not, he wasn't a man to go out or dine or wine with a lot of them, but he's worked with a lot of them and that's what they love him for and that's what he loved them for. So um, I would like him to be remembered as just a wonderful, loving family man that was also a bit of a legend. And he had such a, a tough year that I'm, I'm guessing that did he complain Oh, that? he's had a very, very tough year. His year was not only um, tough health-wise, but mentally he had a lot to cope with. And I, I remember saying just a few days ago that how proud I was of him because I actually don't know a lot of people in show business in his position that would cope with losing a leg and having a few jokes about it and moving on and and he didn't he had no intention of going because um, all he could talk about was um, things that he had in mind and you know I'd be good at that I wonder how I'd go at doing any show if everyone wants to take a break or and I used to laugh because I think you know you're 83 you've got one leg how would you go up and down the stairs you know it's but I loved that attitude of his he was never going to give up and um, and that's what we have to take with us don't we girls we have to just make sure that you know the love that he gave us stays with us forever and um, but it's hard. It's, it's hard. It's hard for this age group. Lauren and, and, and Eva were out to dinner last night, just having a quick little girl's meal. And I rang and poor old 
Eva had to come, she didn't go in. We felt that was too much for her, but I can't get that out of my mind, really. Um, but I have to think that he's at peace and he's not really in pain. And nothing else can hurt him. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm not very good at this, and I look absolutely hideous. No. And under here, I'm sorry. even worse. <laughs> This is Eva, Eva, and this is Lola. And Lola. And, and they were both the loves of his life. Of course. And how old are you both girls? <coughs> Twelve and nine. Twelve and nine. We've done a great job standing next to Nan. I think she appreciated having you here. Yeah, it's a bit of moral very support. That's what we need, exactly. don't we? It's very important. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Thank Good on you. you. Thanks Bye. very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank and I've just spoken to Daniel Andrews. Yes, I was going to ask about that whether you've decided and whether to. I said yes yeah. to um, estate. to a state funeral because, as I said, a little boy from North Fitzroy and having success in show business and then having all these wonderful accolades go his way. And then a state funeral, I think Bert would love it. He'd love it because he's mum and his sister and, you know, they would be so thrilled. So I'm thrilled for him. So I think it'll be, it'll be very nice and it's a wonderful gesture, I feel, because he's very Melbourne, Bert. Even though he's worked in all different states, Melbourne was his, his state and his love. And um, so I think that was a very nice thing. Thank you very much.